I'm sorry. Who are you again? Simon Jarrett. Stationed at? Nowhere. I, I used to work in a bookshop in Toronto. Long story. Then what the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to find the Ark. Why would you? How do you know about that? I've heard it's the last hope for mankind. Damn right it is. Now what do you want with it? Take it to the gun of Fi, launch it into space. That was the plan, all right. I've been guarding it ever since we brought it back to Tau. I just couldn't bring myself to let go. I'll tell you the truth. I don't have the strength to argue. And I certainly don't have the time to wait for the next sentient thing shuffling through here. Go ahead. Take it. Thank you. Take it out.
we do? Hey, try not to think about it. My whole life, I've been a good man. We messed up, Sarah. There, there. I should have launched. Taken the chance. There's time. If Ashkin says we could try again, when things calm down. You gotta do it, you know. You got to. <laughs> Thank you. 
find balance. The pattern has stopped evolving. The WoW has managed to find balance. I convinced SSE Volchek to turn off all external control systems, making the WoW our de facto caretaker. So far, it's exceeding expectations. Since the comet crashed a few days ago, January 12th, the WoW has dropped to a low energy state. It hasn't abandoned its duties. It's keeping climate and life support going, but it's been simplifying the pattern, redefining its protocol. The WoW has started to grow physically. It's not just the core chamber. All around Pathos II, structure gel is bursting through the pipes and bleeding through walls. I don't know what WoW could possibly stand to gain from this, but I assume it is intentional. The heart of WoW has claimed such a large part of the core chamber that there can no longer be any question to its heightened awareness. Not only does its expansion suggest an unexpected understanding of space, but also its own physical manifestation within the world. The WoW is reaching out to every machine, every life form, to manipulate, to control. It's trying to help save its creators from all this, just like the protocol demands. But really, what is good enough? Where is the line drawn for what is human and what is not? Would walking corpses do? Would a group of machines thinking they're human be acceptable? We can't trust a machine to know, to understand what it means to be. We have to terminate the WoW project. It can be done. I just need to get some help from Omicron.
Just tell me what you want. I need you to stop the well. What? How? The enslaved protein sloshing around your suit is the mess from which the well will hang itself. What are you talking about? As soon as I came to an old crumb, I tried to tell them to make the toxin that would make the well wither. But they didn't understand. They put it inside the cabinet. It was so infuriating. They needed to take it to Alpha. Fountain head of the misery we created. And the girl. She figured it out. She was going to take care of it, but the wow shrieked.
be fine, right? Hope the Ark made it here in one piece. What the hell happened to your arm? It's complicated. I just need to know one thing. I'll have both my arms in the Ark, right? Yes, of course. Are you okay, though? Can you do stuff? Yeah. Let's just get this over with. Did you find the Ark? I did, but I kind of lost it on my way here on an automated tram thing headed to Phi. So it should be around somewhere. That's great. Let's go get it. up and running. Did you find out what happened to the Ark team? Not really. For some reason they didn't go through with the launch, so they took the Ark back to town. I hope everything's okay with the space gun. Yeah, I doubt I'll be able to repair one of those. satellite is loaded into a shell. The shell is accelerated by electromagnets along the barrel. Enough momentum to escape Earth's gravity is gained before aggression. Reaching space, the satellite will shed the shell and unfold. Onboard thrusters settle the satellite into an orbit. This feels like the longest day of my life. Has it just been one day? I have no idea. Our time together is a confusing patchwork of moments today. What time is it then? What day? It's May 11th, 2104, 3.30 a.m., but I don't remember when we started. You know, I woke up in my bed today. It just happens to have happened a hundred years ago. Sounds like a riddle. It does. I woke up in my bed today, a hundred years ago. <laughs> Who am I? Who am I? Crazy to think where I am. Not only is this the future, it's in the middle of the sea. I know nothing of this time or what the world looks like. Not much to brag about now. Before the, the comet, I guess it was okay. Yeah. Better not oversell it. Might change my mind about the Ark. You seriously not gonna tell me what happened to your arm? I had to make a quick stop at Site Alpha to help kill the whale. Well. What? How? Why? Stop it from torturing the memory of humanity. Okay, let's just get back to work. What will you do when you get into the Ark? What's the first thing? Make sure the Ark is safe, stabilize flight path, activate solar panels. Well, what's the first human thing you're gonna do? Oh. Watch the clouds roll by? Does that count? I'd say so.
that defeat the whole purpose? Eternity among the stars, remember? The people inside the Ark won't know the difference. We can just keep it down here, and we don't have to risk the Ark being shot through 5,000 meters of broken barrel, and then push through another 100,000 meters of a dust-filled atmosphere. Will the casing stand all that pressure? Well, the odds aren't great. Catherine, say something. I don't care what you think. I'm launching it. No need to be like that. Let's just hang on to it for a while and think about it. We can launch it later. No, that wasn't the deal. We needed to save them. To launch it. Out there, it's hope. Down here, it's a fucking terrarium waiting to die with the rest of us. Come on, Catherine. It's not asking much. Let's just think about it before we risk the only hope humanity has to survive this hell. No, we launch it today. This is my project, my arc. It's bigger than that. Don't you get it? It's not for you to decide. We're talking about the fate of mankind. Get away from the ark. I'm taking it. No, you're not. I'm not going to let you ruin this. Stop it. Guys, calm down. Get away from me. No. It was an accident. Catherine, talk to me. Catherine! Oh, God. Catherine. Did you say something? It's you. You had an accident. What are you... Oh. You mean Catherine. Don't worry, it's better this way. I think I found the assembly space. What do you see? It's like a huge open shell, a bullet ready to be loaded. That's great. All prepared for the Ark. Right. I'll go pick it up. How did she die? You got into a fight with your colleagues. They didn't want to risk launching the Ark. Thought it might not make it through the atmosphere. They killed me? I'm sure it was an accident. They were just trying to stop you from launching. How could they kill me? Catherine. I know I'm not an easy person to like. I just thought they trusted me. Come on, don't do this to yourself. Did you have friends in Toronto, Simon? Real friends? There were some. Jesse, Sean, Kevin. I always wanted a friend, like a real one, someone you'd never hold back with. I'll be your friend. Oh, pity friendship? Now I feel even worse. Do you think the Ark will make it through the atmosphere and into space? It almost doesn't matter anymore. We just need to try. If we burn, we burn. If we're lucky. We just gave humanity a new chance, a whole new era. With the Ark on Earth, maybe we have a few decades of power to keep it running. In space, we have thousands of years. Still, one hell of a gamble. Though. This was never about certainty. It's about hope.
that it? I'm really not that familiar with guns of any size. Oh, here we go. All systems say go. Lock and load. Come back up and we'll head out to the gun. Now what? Then we just need to get the shell onto the gun and then... kaboom. Aren't you forgetting something? How are you gonna get us on board the Ark? Don't we need to make another scan? Oh, don't you worry. You don't operate something like the Omega Space Gun with your bare hands. You mean... it's a pilot seat? Like back at Omicron? Yes, and we can use it to transfer you to the Ark while operating the gun. Two birds and all that. Now, take the Omni tool and plug it in next to the seat and I'll guide you through the final steps. Guess you won't have to. Not after this is over. Right. Have a seat. Comfortable? As good as it's gonna get. Okay, I'll activate the seat. You should be able to use the machines to load the bullet you assembled. How do you operate this thing? Don't know. I never tried this one. But pilot seats are notoriously easy to use, so it shouldn't be a problem.
Alright, just hit the button and we're off. But we need to transfer our minds to the Ark. We also need to make sure it launches at all, so I tied them to a single switch. Just push the button and we're off. Here we go! No turning back! Thank you, Simon. Don't mention it. It's an amazing thing you did. And I want you to know I appreciate it. Time. 20 seconds. What's the matter with the upload? Just give it a second. I thought you guys would have better bandwidth in the future. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. You gotta be kidding me! Five. Four. Three. Come on, hold! Two. Yeah, yes! Fuck yeah! We made it! <laughs> Woo! stars. We're here. No. We were getting on the Ark. I saw it. It finished loading just before it launched. Yeah, I saw. Then why are we still here? Simon, I can't keep telling you how it works. You won't listen. You know why we're here. You were copied onto the Ark. You just didn't carry over. You lost the coin toss. We both did. Just like Simon and Omar Khan. Just like the man who died in Toronto a hundred years ago. No, no, no. This is bullshit. We came all this way! We launched the Ark! I know it sucks, but our copies are up there! Catherine and Simon are both safe on the Ark. Be happy for them. Are you crazy? We're gonna die down here with those fuckers living at large on a spaceship! They're not us! They're not us! I'm sorry you feel that way, Simon. I'm proud of what we did. We made sure that something of the hundreds of thousands of years of human history survived, that something lives on. Oh, fuck this! Fuck! Fuck this! Fuck you! Fuck you, Catherine! You lied! And I believed in you! I trusted you! You said we're getting on the fucking Ark! We are on the Ark, you idiot! I didn't lie! I can't be responsible for your goddamn ignorance! You fucking fuck! Catherine? Please don't leave me alone. Catherine? Catherine?
Whoa. Is this? Did it work? Catherine? Catherine! I can't believe we actually made it. Well, we did. I'm so relieved. It's okay, Simon. Everything's alright now. <laughs>